from the National Director, National Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics, NCAR. NCAR is a subsidiary of NIDA, National Information Technology Development Agency. It's a special purpose vehicle that's created to promote the adoption, development, and uptake of emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, robotics, Internet of Things, virtual reality, and blockchain. In NCAR, our focus is on four areas. We do research and development to come up with new ideas and innovation. We also do collaboration and partnership with institutions such as universities and other bodies that are into R&D. We also do innovation ventures. Our innovation are transformed into startups, which are commercialization of those ideas for the benefit of Nigerians. And as a center that demands talent, so we also put it in encouraging people to get into that. And we do capacity building. We inspire young Nigerians from universities and even from secondary schools to get into technology so that our nation will be better. My name is Daniel Blessing Ojochanini. I'm the head of corporate and advocacy units at the Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics. Um, the interns are part of the digital literacy capacity building, the drive that NKI has engaged on. And um, we have a lot of interns coming to the center. Um, we have those that are for, and um, when they come into the center, we go into the process of onboarding, that's teaching them what we do here, both in our fab lab and also in knowledge sharing, the master class. And uh, we also divide them into different projects. Um, as a nano intent or a sideway or a corporate in the center, you have to undergo the NEDA AI developers training where it equip you with software programming languages. And from there, we go into onboarding uh, in the fabrication lab, teaching you all what we do, both the hardware and the software sector. And from there, they are being divided into groups with um, a creative um, program, projects, that they can embark within three or six months. A project that is um, realistic, that can be delivered and that can impact our community and in general Nigeria. So we divide them into subgroup and we go into this project and at the end of the project the best will be selected and um, they can now form a startup. So NKI has given me a lot of opportunities in the sense that I've been able to better my knowledge on technology and in terms of technology i'm talking about artificial intelligence most importantly so before my idea of technology was for me to just understand and you know a certain part of it to be able to make conversation but then when i got to anchor i was able to see beyond my own opinion on tech which is artificial intelligence i mean opportunity to lead some projects regarding AI here at Enka. Projects like um, speech recognition, facial recognition also, and um, sign language systems, all built on the basis of artificial intelligence. And also, I've also been an opportunity to you know, connect with people on various grounds, share my knowledge on artificial intelligence. So I would say Enka is a very um, good environment and a good center for people to come and better their knowledge and understand more on artificial intelligence and robotics. And also it's a good ground to connect and meet with people and try to build on different projects, try to create solutions for problems using AI and robotics. My name is Abjahman Adebisi Adebito. I'm an engineering intern at the National Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics. My time here has been quite fruitful, to say the least. So, if anything, it's been an eye opener, giving the opportunity to work with various engineers across different fields, such as artificial intelligence and also FLS systems, alongside circuits. I've had the opportunity to 
and show my skills and show what I'm capable of I can be able to express myself and show my skills in Python I can show my skills in programming in general I've had the opportunity as well to engage in the design also sharing my knowledge amongst other kids of this generation this upcoming generation I've spent quite a bit of time grooming them here and there, telling them about the importance of tech in general, showing them all the importance of being tech endowed. And with that, I'm able to show everything I've done. So but, um, I've got to know about NPM from my friend, one of my first mates. And so basically, um, at that time, I was actually looking for a place to do my internship, and I was actually really picky with that because I wanted to get a place whereby um, I could learn a lot of things and so NK was just the perfect place for me and so that's how I got to come to NK So yeah, my experience at NK is actually great um, two months in NK and I've learned quite a lot of things especially with the softwares that I didn't even know about in the past and so yeah, this is so much um, practical here than theory, which was what I was actually looking forward to. I think um, NK can help like anybody that has interest in robotics. Yeah, so if anyone is interested in robotics, NK can help a great deal because they teach you the basics. And yeah. Copa at the National Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics. Um, I got a recommendation from one of my friends who did an internship program here and he strongly recommended it so I looked into it and it kind of lined up with what I wanted to achieve so I went ahead. Um, so far I would say I've learned a lot. I'm only halfway through my program but I still feel like I have a lot to learn and I feel like I'm in a position to get that information. I think technology is the future. I just feel like it makes everything so convenient. It's hard to kind of imagine a world without tech. So it's good that we're kind of getting into it. So I want to give my answer specific to Nigeria. I feel like if we get into it more and more, like this place, this building is kind of an outreach for Nigerians to get more and more into artificial intelligence and tech and stuff like that. And I feel like it kind of gives Nigeria I level playing field when it comes to development, so it's a good thing that we're kind of getting more and more into it. My name is Nathaniel Handan. I'm a student of mechatronics and system engineering from Awokata for the Liberal University Bochi. I'm at the National Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics, the subsidiary of NITSTA, for my internship. Actually, I've been here for quite a long time, for just a short time, just one month, and then I've actually learned a lot here. My dream is to be a robotics engineer and that's why I applied to my internship at the center. And coming to the center, I've been exposed to different things, different practical stuff I couldn't lay my hands to in school. I've been exposed to the, the world of CNC cutting, CNC building, additive and subtractive manufacturing. I've been exposed to 3D printing, I've been exposed to laser cutting and the shop bot fabric machine in the lab here. So the shop bot is a machine that is used to cut wood log spaces longer than 15 millimeters. The shop bot is used to cut any angle. It makes use of the CNC code, G and N code. From the software we design and then we send it to the shop, to the shop bot which cuts in basically the three axes we have, the X, Y and the Z axis. The shop bot can, can also be used to cut and to engrave different sizes and different designs on pieces of wood and gradually. I'm an intern at NCA. So far, my experience here and overview is that I've never seen a better atmosphere due to the techno uh, technological aspirations that are over here. NCA, there are so many talented individuals from different fields, from different locations, different backgrounds, and the way things are coming up here, so come up with different ideas at NCA and Enka has really helped them to promote their work and groom them to become great, to be able to solve those problems that they aspire to solve.
me at Enkai, I really want to achieve a lot. So as the other interns who are here, I, I'm very sure that we're going to solve a lot of problems for Africa as a whole, if not the whole world. We're going to have a lot of success stories coming from this wonderful organization. And I believe something good is going to happen. Like a lot of things. Are... My name is Uduak Kobio. I'm an electrical electronics engineering student at Page University. I'm currently doing my internship here at Enkai. Right. So I was looking for a place to do my sideways internship. I was I wanted a place where a place that paid and a place where I had the opportunity to learn stuff. So Enkai fit the requirements, so I thought why not? Uh, initially I wasn't really sure what to expect. I just came in here with like a blank mind open to whatever Enkai was ready to throw at me. I think it's been good so far. It's been a little bit stressful because I've worked quite a lot of hours daily. But overall, I've been able to learn quite a number of things. I've been able to advance myself in 3D design, uh, 3D printing, prototyping, those sort of things. I've also been able to get more involved in the aspect of robotics, uh, putting together stuff, electronics, and things like that. So I would say I've been able to learn quite a lot from Well, I'd like to say it's nice to have a place like this in Nigeria. Not many people are even aware that something like this exists. So for people interested in tech, interested in AI and robotics, it's a good place for them to come to gain more experience. The idea from my brother, because he saw I'm interested in electronics and stuff, so it's me to why not go to Enkai, do similar stuff. Here you learn more and you'll be able to apply the skills in Enkai. Yeah, so far, experience is very good. We do expect more. So yeah, I want to make changes in Nigeria. Yeah.